Hey people, uh, this tiny little unit here is uh, off my goat's horn, so I haven't tried one. It's, I didn't get any pods off it last year, so it's finally sprung one, and it's about the only thing I've got ripe. So just thought I'd give it a whirl, tell you how it goes. It'll be a short one, I'm sure, but let's check it out. Wow, seedy as. That was almost all seed. Mm. Smallest, smallest of bite. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a hit. More seeds than anything. I'll keep it short. A um, little bit of on the tongue. Bit hotter than I thought it would be, but um, yeah, don't mind it. Even a bit hard to swallow just because there were so many seeds. It was almost like a, a very thin wall, and all the all the bulk in it was all just seeds. Funnily enough, I'm actually getting a good burn off that now. That's that's really around the tongue, um, just a little bit under the tongue as well. I can't wait till I get some bigger pods off that. Um, yeah, so lips starting to go off. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. This one I, I bought was a random buy off a guy on the side of the road. Um, when I replanted it last year, it got really hit hard with the fungus gnats and all that sort of stuff. Um, and when I, <laughs> when all the tray went spilling, it landed on top of it. So it's it's come out all right, and it's doing well in this new Adelaide hot weather. Um, wow. Didn't really have a good flavor. Well, I wouldn't say a great flavor, just because of the seeds. But I reckon that it, it, just by feeling it, it didn't have a lot of uh, room in there, um, therefore all the seeds. Um, and the placenta is uh, obviously what's making my really good burn. Really good burn. For a little tiny pod, I'm getting a really good burn. So um, goats on everyone. Tiny but mighty. I like it. All right. Catch ya.